हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल होम टास्टिक बरिजवाना सो दिस इज माई डेस्क इन एन अदर बेडरूम वेर आई कीप ऑल द डी आई वाई एंड क्राफ्ट मटीरियल आई नो दिस इज सो मेस्ट अप एंड लुकिंग सो क्लेटर बिकॉज इट्स नेचुरल दैट वी डोंट गेट टाइम टू कीप इट ऑर्गेनाइज एवरी टाइम बिकॉज आई मेक वीडियोज बैक टू बैक एंड ड्यूरिंग द वीक डेज ऑल्सो आई वोंट हैव मच टाइम बिकॉज ऑफ माई जॉब सो टूडे आई थॉट ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजिंग री ऑर्गेनाइजिंग दिस डेस्क एंड ऑल्सो शेयरिंग विथ यू वॉट एवर आई हैव बिकॉज many people have been asking me about the material that i use in my videos and also i am going to rearrange this particular bedroom because during this monsoon season this has become like a store room with all the clothes and all for that also i have found a solution and uh, i'll be rearranging the furniture in this bedroom to make it look spacious also so let's first start with clearing of this desk This video is going to help all the DIY and craft lovers and also those who have just started their YouTube channels and also will motivate you to clean and reorganize your bedroom to make it look spacious and also keep it neat and organized. So while cleaning I found these tin cans which I keep thinking that I can make some DIYs with it. So today I'll be using these tin cans as organizers to keep my brushes and other tools on my desk. and i cannot simply put the tin cans as it is so i'm just painting it with some different colors and i'll make a simple diy organizer with these tins i just painted these three tins with black navy blue and magenta colors and i'll put these tins to dry and meanwhile let's remove all the things from this desk and clean it first This kind of reset and organization is much needed for everyone those who make DIYs and crafts. The main reason to reorganize my desk today is I had kept all the craft material in the zip bags and I kept it above the desk but the problem is every time it's very time consuming for me to search what is there in which bag and also sometimes I forget what I have and I end up buying that material again. I have cleared the drawers and I am cleaning it and just to let you know I purchased this desk from home center Now I have taken out all the empty boxes that I have been keeping for a very long time so that I can organize this drawers well So the first item here is these long bamboo sticks and I'll keep it behind the organizers my glue sticks and in this i'll keep all different types of sticks like popsicle sticks in this organizer these are called interlocking mdf display stands we can use them to display any kind of artwork like plates or canvases and moving on i'll first put this tray in the drawer and in this i'll put all different kinds of laces that i have like jute laces jute ropes and all as i love making crafts and diys i just collect all this kind of material and keep it with me so that whenever i get any idea i can execute it And next I'll put this kind of organizers in the drawer. These are very helpful to organize random things like small small items like this. These are the self adhesive hooks that we use to hang plant vines on the wall. And next I have these cute chipboard embellishments in fairyland theme. I have kept these in a small chocolate box and I'll put it in the drawer here. I have added two more organizers in this drawer to organize all my small small craft material. So here I have some wooden beads and some multicolor beads. These are some white pebbles. And I have some feathers in different different colors. We can use them to make any dream catcher or any wall hanging. And next I have some handmade flowers and paper flowers. and these are foam flowers and 
and i have some magnets i bought these magnets because i wanted to make some fridge magnets for a very long time and these are few s hooks i have some cutters to make any clay items i keep all nails in this kind of boxes and keep it behind all the organizer so that my son won't find it and in this box i have other type of embellishments like stones mirrors and other stickers these are other type of hooks that we can use to attach on frames or wall plates to hang on the wall and i keep small tools like this in this box and in this basket i have my glue guns and scissors i'll quickly wipe out all the dust and organize all these things and the rope which you are seeing is used to dry clothes because this is monsoon i hope this is common in everyone's houses and let's quickly organize all the things one by one and in this basket i keep all my glass colors and 3d outliners and these are the tin cans that we had painted in the beginning now i'll simply wrap this jute lace around this tin can as i told this is a simple diy organizer but looks very nice and elegant here to attach the lace again i'm using fevicol alfix glue i'll just repeat the same for all the three tins so these are almost ready isn't it very simple and quick diy organizer and now let's arrange all the brushes and other tools in these organizers and in the next one i'll put all the palette knives which i purchased recently and in these baskets i have all the paints already arranged this one is sculpture paste which i recently used in one of my diy's and this is deco magic glue this is just so that we use as a primer before painting any surface and in this one i have all the small paint bottles and now i'll be removing this rope because i have got a new cloth drying stand already this room is filled with so many things and on top of it this rope is making it look so clumsy back to the organization these are the boxes with the glitter powder and zip ties and here i have so many decoupage napkins deco transfer sheets that i always use in my crafts these are foam sheets and next these are my favorite deco transfer stickers that i used in my recent last video also on the spatulas and i have some cute and beautiful decoupage napkins i'll put all these in this folder and coming back to the room recently i had kept bed in this position but trust me this kind of arrangement was occupying lot of space and i decided to put it back to its old position and here once again my sister came to my rescue as this room was filled up with so much mess and she helped me a lot in reorganizing and rearranging all the things in this room the one in the red t-shirt is my son as you all know and the other one is my sister's son now we are moving the desk and we are going to keep this next to the bed and you still see lot of mess on the desk right don't worry we have already cleaned and discarded many items that we don't use and finally after all the rearrangement this is how the room is looking it's looking more spacious now and that is a cloth drying stand that i got I kept it in the balcony as finally sun has come out after continuous rains and in case if it's raining we can put this stand inside the room also. So in my next video I'm going to give a beautiful transformation to this room that you all are going to love. And here is my desk after all the cleaning and organization. Once in a while it's much needed to reset the things like this because it will give you a lot of positive energy and motivation to start fresh. So here are my craft materials which I've already explained each and everything. I don't want to drag much here. And that's my personal laptop and small LED message board. Here are my DIY tin can organizers.
my son is saying hi to all of you so that's about the today's video guys i just wanted to share with you all my craft supplies that might help you so if you have liked this video i request you to press the like button and in case you are new to my channel please consider subscribing to my channel as i'll be coming up with most realistic and affordable home decor home makeover videos every week stay tuned for the next video in which i'll be giving a makeover to this almira and this complete room and thanks for showing so much love on my last video i'm so glad that you all liked that video so much as always don't forget to put your thoughts in the comment section and that's all for today friends let's meet in the next video until then bye bye and take care